Jason, I'm sorry. I have to bring it up. Your uh, your tweet about the uh, second generation of the iPad. Yeah, that's pretty. It's pretty funny. What was it? Well, because it's true, right? What's what that? was your tweet? Oh, yeah, facing camera, were, like, all the things that you said camera. about the. Well, the. <laughs> I was in bed with my wife, and it was the night before the iPad coming out, and just all the Apple fanboys were going so crazy about it. I don't know if you remember that night, but yeah, they yeah. were like literally staying up all night. Um, and so I just said, "Wow, I have to say, the iPad is the greatest computing experience I've ever had." And people were like, "What? You have an iPad?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I got one from Steve." And it, that's almost plausible. Like, I'm not, I'm not very important in technology, yeah. but I'm not nobody. So I'm sort of like in that middle ground, like a tweener. Like, so it's it, unlikely, but I could. And so people on Twitter were like, "Oh my God, what's it like?" And I'm like, "It's got a forward-facing camera. It's got uh, <laughs> solar pads on the. It's got solar uh, array on the back, so you can charge it. And when you play Farmville, <laughs> you you irrigate your crops by rotating it." And uh, if you if you stand next to somebody else playing Farmville, the cows go from my farm to their farm, and it's got a DV. I, the, and then I said it has a DVR in it, and I'm just sitting there laughing, and my wife is laughing, you know, and she's like, I don't know that people know you're not serious. And I'm like, it's got a DVR, so it does, and has an HD tuner, so you can tune into HD TV and record any program. And people are like, oh my god, it's incredible! <laughs> oh my god, they believed you. No, so then I get the, no, it gets better. I get a phone call in the morning. It's like six thirty in the morning, and I'm like getting up, making my coffee, and it's my friend Mark Pincus who runs Zynga, which is Farmville. Yeah, yeah. And Mark says, "What the f are you doing?" And I'm like, "What are you talking about?" He's like, "Did you read the New York Times?" I'm like, "No." He goes, "Did you read the Wall Street Journal?" I said, "No, uh, I'm pulling it up right now." New York Times and Wall Street Journal. Jason Calacanis describes <laughs> new iPad. They both covered the story. <laughs> None of them called me to confirm anything. And they put, I described it, and then I look at my phone and I've got seven voicemail messages. CNBC's called me, like, because I know the people at CNBC. Yeah. They've called me five times. Can you get on the air with, Ron, <laughs> with Goldman? Can you get on the air? And I'm like, oh my God, these people are idiots. This is, this is from one tweet or a couple of tweets? It was a series of 10 tweets. Right. I see, I try to never actually necessarily fully believe anything I read on Twitter. Because you don't, they could be joking. Well, then I, then I, you know, this became this whole thing, like, this everybody's like, so oh my funny. God, you're making some big, huge comment on. Media. I'm like, no, I was just joking. Yeah. And what I realized was people read like selective tweets. They read two tweets, and any two of them could seem plausible. Right. When you put all the stuff together, I described an eight pounded device right. known as a laptop. Yes. You know, or a desktop computer. It would be impossible to do for anything other than $2,000 and eight or nine pounds. Right. But for a technology report, the New York Times and Wall Street Journal to just fall for it hook, line, and sinker it was just a testament oh to God, that how so desperately they wanted to have the scoop. Yeah. So the currency right now for journalists is um, getting the scoop, right. and they're getting scoop constantly by blogs. So I attribute it all to them, so desperate to get a scoop that they didn't want to fact check, and they would just and that's and that's the so they became of, bloggers. They became <laughs> irresponsible bloggers.